join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello, today we're getting back into some Legend of Korra. Today we're watching episode 9 of season 2. It's called The Guide, I think. Yeah, The Guide. The last stuff that we watched was the beginnings part 1 and 2 where we learned about Avatar 1 and being the first Avatar and about all kinds of history about the Avatar, Rava, Vatu, the spirit world, and Unalak is up to no good with the spirit portal and all this stuff and I believe that he's trying to set Vatu free and yeah. Let's get into it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the comments. <gasps> gotcha! Freefoot, come back! They just keep thinking up of more and more adorable and cool splices. Were you playing with someone? Oh, just some imaginary friends. <laughs> I love them. Lies. It's funny dragonflies. <gasps> Cora? Cora? <laughs> it's so great to see you all again. It's great to see you too. Just tell us everything. Everything? Everything. Okay. I opened a spirit portal with the South Pole, but then Unalak turned out to be a bad guy and wanted to take control of the South, so I sort of started a civil war. But when I went to find some help, I was attacked by my cousins, and then by a giant dark spirit, and then I forgot who I was, and then I met the first Avatar, and then I realized I shouldn't have opened the portal in the first place, and now I need to close it again. <laughs> I knew this would happen. So Avatar One imprisoned Beautiful. this dark spirit Vatu in the spirit world? Yes, and now I think my uncle is trying to free him. Mm-hmm. All my years of spiritual training have prepared me for this moment. I will help you. He's like, this is Today, my moment. We enter the spirit world. Whoa, okay. Father, what are we doing here? Because I'll need your help to open the northern portal. There it is. The northern portal. George of the Jungle. Watch out for that tree. I found out who's been stealing from Future Industries. Varric. He's my business partner now, not an evil mastermind. Mako, you seem stressed. I am stressed. Maybe you just need to relax. <gasps> You're dating again? Cora just left a week ago! <laughs> The detonators he uses in his movers are exactly like the one I found at the Cultural Center attack. And those explosions were exactly like the ones the captain reported when Asami's shipment was hiding. And he had an evil look on his face, most importantly. Varric's been looking for you. You're lucky. By this very garden is where my father met Guru Patik. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember. Are you in the spirit world? I would be if Milo could ring his bell at the appropriate intervals. Aww, did I do it wrong? Aww. I thought your bell ringing was just fine. Thanks! <laughs> Kaya, this is too much smoke. I'm sorry, I did what you told me. Well, the moment's ruined. Well, he's just gonna be a grump at everybody, huh? We could have tried a little longer. Oh, so these are spirits and only what's her name can see them. She is very hey, Janora, in tune. What are you chasing? With the spirit Nothing. world. And that statue that she was looking at a few episodes ago. Was that one? I need to see it again. Feel the energy of the universe. Okay. I don't think this location is going to work either. What's going on with you? Well, nothing is feeling right to me. How did you first get into the spirit world? Let's try that. He's never well, been. Actually, I've never been into the spirit world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Were they listening the whole time? It's my greatest shortcoming as an airbender, spiritual leader, and son of Aang. Now that the Avatar needs me, it must be my time. There might be another way. Jinora, is there something you want to tell Korra? It's okay, you can show yourselves. Whoa. Bunnies! <laughs> Bunnies! Looks like she does know something about spiritual matters. She's uh, 
Got that natural talent. I think they want you to go down there. I don't know. No offense, but I'm guessing the spirits have actually been to the spirit world, so I'm gonna follow them. If we need to go to the Tenzin world, we'll call you. <laughs> Tenzin, he's too tense. He's too grumpy. Together we can open this portal. <laughs> Leave him. Keep bending. He needs a healer at once. This is more important. Jeez, Unalak, you're just getting worse and worse by the episode. I'm taking him back. That was cool, but not strong enough. I hear you've got some ideas. You want to tell me about them? No. And I think you know that I know that you know, you know? We want you to join us. You wouldn't want anything to happen to Asami, would you? Is that a threat? Or what about your brother? What are you saying without you? Who knows what could happen? <gasps> the answer is no. Jeez. I'm going to name you Boomju. It's short for Boomy Jr. Boomju? Don't you think he looks like me? He does. He's got the beard, the mustache. You actually got to meet the first avatar. I saw how he became the first avatar by fusing with Rava, the spirit of light. Yeah, that, that was so cool. Part spirit? Of course. Just like the statue. It was the first avatar. It was on the solstice. That's the day I opened the southern portal. Whoa. Whoa. Mind blown. Are you sure these spirits are leading us to the right place? Of course. I trust boomed you with my life. <laughs> This is an ancient airbender meditation circle. I love how mystical and, I don't know, earthy, like, this place is. This whole temple. Whoa! It's a lot more violent than I thought it would be. Those look like... Dark spirits! Yeah, dark spirits. What are we supposed to do? What would Juan do? Whoa, she's gotten really good at that suddenly. I think she learned a lot from, from speaking with Juan and seeing his journey and understanding and kind of opening up that connection within herself to Rava. Unalak may be a horrible person, but his spirit powers are no joke. Oh, or that. <laughs> or it was Unalak. Everything Unalak taught me was to help himself. Yep. I need you now more than ever. I won't let you down. Aww. Aww. Me too, Kaya, me too. <laughs> if we meditate here, we'll be able to enter the spirit world. After all these years, my father's dream for me will finally come true. Maybe you need a night off. Why don't we go get some dinner? Maybe I do need to get my mind off things. Hey, Mako. Mako. Hope we didn't interrupt you two lovebirds. You did. We busted some triple threats who said you hired them for a job. All right. It's true. They said you helped them steal a warehouse full of Future Industries property. That's crazy. Well, looky what I found. What are you doing with explosives, Mako? You're under arrest. None of that is mine. Oh, great. These two, they're with Varric. Sorry to break the news to you, sweetie, but your boyfriend's just a crooked cop. He was using you the whole time. There's no way you... <laughs> There's no way you believe that, Asami. This is all Varric. He set me up. Come on, girl. You know the truth. You know. Don't listen to Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. You in the spirit world yet? Just give me some time. It's not your destiny. I think Janora was meant to guide the Avatar. I spent years training, studying, and mastering everything there is to know about the spirit world. If everyone could just be quiet and let me focus. Oh, I'll be all right. Tenzin's a very interesting character. He's very stubborn like a rock, but he's an airbender. Go. Close the portal. We'll wait here and keep your bodies safe till you return. Well, I'm really excited to see Janora getting uh, some more more of a role and hopefully I'll be able to remember her name <laughs> next time. <laughs> mm. 
Man. The Avatar is dead. I have failed you, Vatu. The Avatar still lives. She has just entered the spirit world. Oh, we got this guy spying on us. One thing I really want to say is this uh, series, The Legend of Korra, they really, I feel like they just really upped the art direction, like the locations, the, it's just beautiful. I don't know. I just, I just love the settings that they are creating, the beautiful drawings, the colors, everything feels so magical, mystical. And since we've gotten out of Republic City, of course, Republic City um, is not really like that at all it's kind of the opposite kind of grungy and very industrial and things like that but but again i really loved the artwork of the previous two episodes where we took a glimpse into the past with avatar one and this whole area around the air temple that they're at is just gorgeous like it feels so magical mystical and i love it so much i love tenzin tenzin is very amusing he has a really good heart but also i just feel like he's very high strung and he kind of feels like he knows everything what he knows to be true is true and he kind of doesn't want to listen to anybody else he doesn't want to he wants to do everything himself he wants to be in control he wants to keep everybody else safe by putting himself in danger in his mind like he's the hero he's the one that has to do this this is his destiny he's trained for this and it's been really interesting kind of seeing that struggle that he has and yeah he does seem very kind of he's not he's not really like Aang he kind of personality wise reminds me more of Toph just this very kind of in stuck in his place very kind of rigid and yeah again I think it's really cool that Jinora is um, going to play like a role a very unique individual role because I've always seen the three children as kind of one unit like they kind of go together they do things together they have a role of being Tenzin's airbender children. And she is seems to be moving from the role of the mature child in the group to like she's coming out on her own and having an important role. And I think that's really cool. And I'm excited and we're going to this spirit world. What if we see uh <laughs> how long do spirits live? Like practically forever, right? Can we see, uh, what's his name? The guy who named Juan Stinky? <laughs> that would be really cool if we saw him. That would be amazing. But we'll see if we do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of The Legend of Korra. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye!